hello guys welcome back to me about the one and only thing we all love money in today's video i want to share with you my experience with bitcoin and also my views on it this video is inspired by nicolette mashile also known as the financial bunny before we get into this video please don't forget to hit the like button for the youtube algorithm and of course don't forget to subscribe for future videos <music> I've been told I speak very fast. I'm sorry, but that's just my normal. But in this video, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and be normal. Firstly, I have an announcement to make. I've officially opened my Etsy shop and I'm selling a digital budget planner, which is also printable. So after this video, please go check it out. I'll leave the link down below. I'm gonna be sharing four things with you guys. Firstly, my story based on my experience, what you can learn from my story, what drives Bitcoin price, and if it's too late to invest in Bitcoin. If you've been following this channel, you would know that I've shared that I started investing back in 2017. But back then, I was investing only in stocks. Late 2018, I started investing in cryptocurrencies, which was Bitcoin. And ethereum at that time bitcoin was trading around 3800 euros and ethereum was around 135 euros of course i didn't have 3800 euros when i decided to invest i put about one eighth of the price for bitcoin and for ethereum because it was cheap and i could afford i bought a couple of those my intention was not to trade bitcoin but to just let it grow if it does grow so every single month i'll deposit around 50 to 100 euros sometimes more sometimes less i did this without fail every single month because i believed that i was gonna be rich of course i was wrong but what i noticed was that bitcoin would actually go up but then the next morning it's down so it was up and down up and down after i realized that i was not going to be rich from bitcoin i decided to shift my mindset and look at bitcoin as long-term investment despite my disappointment of not being rich as i thought i would i kept on depositing this money every single month i would take a portion of my salary and put in my luna wallet around april may 2019 i remember i had left my part-time job because it was too stressful for me and i needed some money for personal things i was so tempted to sell my bitcoin because even though it had not grown that much but it had grown to an extent at that time it was trading around 4,800 euros to 6,800 euros so my portion as well had grown a bit about two or three days later when i was thinking about withdrawing my bitcoin i came across an article and this article speculated that bitcoin was going to go up when i read that article i immediately changed my mind and i didn't sell my bitcoin or my ethereum instead of selling my bitcoin or ethereum to make money or form money i decided that i had to find other ways to make money around that time i decided to start my blog and i also started some online jobs when i found other ways of making money i decided to detach from bitcoin and i started focusing more on stock around late 2019 early 2020 i stopped depositing any money i even deleted the app and around march april i changed phones and i never downloaded the app then around september october 2020 i got a notification from cnbc because i do have an app and i turned on notifications for crypto and stock related news when i clicked on the article this article was talking about the bitcoin spike that had happened within 24 hours something rang in my head i remember that i have bitcoin i went ahead and i downloaded the luno app when i checked the luno app at that time bitcoin was trading at 11,000 euros and remember guys when i invested it was around 3,800 euros and now it was at 11,000 euros honestly guys this is the part which i could show you here on my screen my wallet or my luno wallet but um maybe one day when i get bigger i'll be able to share or i'll be confident enough to share with you guys my portfolio as a whole not just crypto but everything anyways after i realized the potential of bitcoin i decided not to sell it but instead i bought more bitcoin and ethereum around october then about two weeks ago bitcoin hit 33,000 euros honestly i could believe it and i was so scared so i decided to sell a portion of it not all of it just a portion of it and i added more on my ethereum because ethereum when i bought it it was at 135 euros and i bought like a couple of those but now it's sitting at 1300 euros if i'm not mistaken i felt like ethereum has more room for growth because it's still at 1300 euros so i don't know maybe it can go to 5000 in the next couple of years considering that i still have my money in bitcoin would i cry if it was to crash today most likely because that's my money there in as much as i have money in bitcoin it's not even up to six or seven percent of my entire portfolio i mostly invest in stocks and gold even if it was to drop by 90 percent i still wouldn't sell it because for me when i invest i invest long term even with stocks sometimes i lose money but i don't sell sometimes i even need money but i would never ever ever sell my stock just so that i can get money within the next three days i would rather suffer or find other ways to make money so what can you learn from this firstly if you're going to invest whether in bitcoin or in anything invest long term in the long term you may see the return don't be like me when i started investing investing in bitcoin i thought i was gonna be a millionaire i did not start investing in bitcoin with the mentality of i want to invest long term but i wanted money now and it didn't happen with any investment if you're gonna do it just do it long term secondly you don't need anyone to help you buy bitcoin if you're gonna buy bitcoin you can do it yourself you can download luna app and do it and it's not only in south africa even in nigeria and other countries stop falling for scammers promising to make you ten thousand or hundred thousand rands in one day they don't even know what they're doing you can do this yourself i mean i know some people actually trade bitcoin and you can make a lot of money from 
playing bitcoin but you can lose that money as quick as you make it don't trust anyone Thirdly, you don't have to wait until you have full amount in order to start investing for example in my case when i started investing in bitcoin i didn't have 3800 euros i started with like small amount and i kept on adding and adding every single month so you can buy for however much and keep on depositing every month or every week or every other week you may be asking yourself what drives bitcoin price well i am not an expert in anything for that matter but i have a little little experience in investing as a whole and also bitcoin as i've shared my story here's what i think when bitcoin was introduced back in the day i think not so many people believed in bitcoin and not so many people invested in bitcoin because there was no real use of btc but now 10 11 years later some companies around the world are starting to accept bitcoin as a form of payment some big companies like square announced last year that they bought 4700 bitcoins invested 150 million dollars into bitcoin the adoption of bitcoin by retail companies and also these big companies investing in bitcoin this helps bitcoin to become more secure more people are buying it thus increasing the price another thing that could be the reason as you may know only 21 bitcoins can be mined and currently they've mined 18 million meaning they're only left with 3 million this means there is enough supply to match the demand because more people want bitcoin but there isn't much bitcoin left so the price increases pro investors are saying this is just a bubble and bitcoin is gonna crash so why are people still investing in bitcoin if it's gonna crash the world is going through a pandemic and the economy has been affected globally some countries have promised to give their citizens some covid relief but where is this money gonna come from it means more money is gonna be printed and the more money is printed the less valuable it becomes people are investing in bitcoin because it's much safer bitcoin doesn't decrease in value when more bitcoin is mined lastly is it too late to invest in bitcoin honestly no one can tell you even though some people can tell you it's too early or it's too late personally i feel like no one can really tell you because nobody knows if you think about it bitcoin has only been around for 11 12 years it's not enough to tell its true potential or what's gonna happen or if it's too early or too late if you want to start investing in bitcoin understand that it's very risky but its risk is as big as its potential gain i don't advise anyone to buy or not buy bitcoin but if in 2021 i didn't have bitcoin and i was not sure if i should buy or not i would buy just a small portion of it and wait for it to drop and when it drops then i'll buy more if you buy a small portion and it drops you won't cry that much if you lose but if it goes up you'll still have something so you benefit but if you don't do anything then you just cry that being said thank you so much for making it to the end please don't drag me in the comment section because i did say i'm not an expert i was just sharing my story you can educate us down below or share your experience bye